Alright guys, so things are officially heating up for Dragon Ball Legends 6th year anniversary. Now last night we got a brand new cryptic message and everybody was scrambling trying to guess exactly what that cryptic message was including myself and I heard a lot of worst case scenarios and best case scenarios and that's exactly what today's video is going to be about guys. It's going to be the best case scenarios and the worst case scenarios we can get for part 1 of the anniversary because... Believe, believe it or not, there's actually some really bad case scenarios I do want to mention to you guys. And I want to kind of like have a soft landing in case it does happen. I just want to mention it that it could be a possibility. Although I'm actually very optimistic for the anniversaries part one. I really, really am. I think they're going to throw us a curveball and we're going to be satisfied. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. But there's definitely some worst case scenarios and best case scenarios. And by the way, comment down below right now, guys. What is your best case scenario and your worst case scenario for part one of the anniversary? And um, they might be dropping a brand new cryptic message once again tonight. And I'll make sure to keep you guys updated once we get that here on my YouTube. So let's get into it. Okay. Some best case scenarios is some worst case scenarios. Now you guys clearly see right here a Super Vegito and a God Goku. Two of like, I would say the most anticipated characters, I would say. Now, let me just straight straight up start off with this, okay? Either one of these as a solo LF character to me is a bad case scenario for an anniversary. If we get a solo Super Vegito, right? If we get a solo Super Vegito banner, of course, it's probably gonna be filled with other characters involved, like the, uh, like the uh, fifth year anniversary. <clears throat> but if it's a solo banner, if we do get a solo banner, I would consider that personally for me, a worst case scenario okay uh the reason why is because like what are we back to the first anniversary we're just gonna get a solo super vegeto even the first anniversary had a multiple banner right um but yeah i mean same thing goes for god goku i love both of these characters but for an anniversary to kick off especially after the dry period we just had with the saiyan saga i i don't know man i i just think we need a dual lf banner i, I think anything solo would be the worst case scenario for me except may an exception here guys would be some sort of fusion mechanic either one of these characters for example okay it could be a fusion mechanic um super vegeto right a, i don't know how that's going to function but maybe a vegeto i mean uh, a goku and vegeta uh, fusing uh fusing into super vegeto you could say the same thing about god goku maybe to a super saiyan blue gogeta i don't know right with vegeta so that that is the only way i would say that I would actually like a solo banner. I wouldn't really mind. Although, worst case scenario for me is any solo banner. Okay, guys? Uh, that's just my personal take. And I know a lot of people are in the same boat with me. Especially, uh, also Goresh just mentioned, uh, the worst case scenario is a God Goku by himself. I agree with that. Uh, anything by, by themselves for an anniversary. Because, let's just face it, guys. This could easily just... A solo banner of e either of these characters could be a normal month. Not an anniversary opener. You get me? So we have that. Now, the best case scenario for me would obviously be both of these characters, but that's not necessarily the best case scenario, right? It would be two banners. One banner here to the left-hand side would be a fusion mechanic of a Super Vegito, and then to the right-hand side, and this is a really big stretch, guys. It could either be God Goku. It could be any kind of God character, right? Because we're all anticipating the other banner besides the Majin Buu Saga to be God Key. So it would be probably a Rosane Zamasu fused into a Fusion Zamasu, right? So we would have a Fusion Zamasu mechanic here versus a uh, Vegito mechanic here, like a double LF banner that way. That to me would be a, an amazing scenario, as a matter of fact. So I would absolutely love that. Um, I think it would probably be the best banner we've ever gotten. Uh, it would even top the Beast Gohan and Super Saiyan uh, Evolution Bros uh, for the Legends Festival, in my personal opinion. A, a mechanic of a Super Vegito versus another fusion mechanic of a uh, Rose in Zamasu. To me, that is the best case scenario. You could kind of tinker around with the uh, God Key side. You could say a fusion Shallot and Giblet to Shallot. You could say that as well for games original. But that to me is the best case scenario. Now, I asked you guys over on X and a lot of you guys give, gave some pretty good answers. Uh, some guy here said, I'm trying to find the guy, but some guy did say, uh, one of the best case scenarios uh, for the Vegito banner in itself as a side character would be a Hercule revival to Majin Buu. That to me is a very creative idea. There's only a little issue with that is that the fact that Hercule doesn't have any tags, he doesn't hold any tags, unless they just say, hey, 
pre-transformation or pre-revival or comeback, whatever whatever the case may be. He still has all the regen, Majin Buu tags and stuff like that, like powerful opponent, whatever, whatever the case may be, right? Actually, I don't even think it'd be powerful opponent. It wouldn't be powerful opponent. But that would be a really cool idea. Now, really quick, guys, just, just to mention that we should be seeing a curveball um, like the character I just mentioned, like a Hercule or a Supreme Kai or a Spopovich because we got like, what, Kawei one year, um, the other year we got Yurin. So like they, they throw us these curveballs. Like for the fourth year anniversary, who expected a Yurin? I sure didn't. You sure didn't. That's for sure. And then for the fifth year anniversary, nobody expected a Kawei. We just didn't, right? We just didn't. That's not a character that we're going to toss up, right? So I think that's something Dragon Ball Legends likes to do. They like to bring out these hype, hype characters and then also throw us a little curveball, right? Uh, to kind of keep things spiced up. So um, single banner is a disappointment for me personally. Double LF banner would be the way to go to kick off any big celebration, right? Now, um, how, how this would work in specific, like the fusion mechanic, right? Or it could be a revival mechanic with a Super Saiyan Goku, as you guys can see there, to a Super Saiyan God Goku. That would be cool too. Um, and even a transfer. Actually, I would honestly, as a fusion mechanic, I wouldn't mind a transformation. I don't know how, like I said, there's many ways to make this work. It could be like a timer count of a tag Goku and Vegeta, right? That after that timer count, they fuse, right? Kind of like... Um, for example, like a unique gauge going down, and as soon as it goes down, they fuse. Kind of like, I would say it would be very similar to the Majin Buu Bros, right? When the timer goes down or the unique gauge, they automatically go into this cutscene, and then they would, you know, have the, have that transcended Kamehameha, or like the Gammas, right? But in this case, they will transform into Super Vegito. That to me would be a very creative idea. I wouldn't really mind them approaching it that way as a tag um, Goku and uh, Vegeta, right? And so you could say the same thing about Rose and Zamasu, right? I still think I'm more excited for the for the God Key side, right? Whether it's a God Goku, whether it's a Zamasu, Fusion Zamasu, Krupp Zamasu. I'm more excited for the God Key side. I really am. Um, so if there was two banners, let me ask you guys. If there was these two banners, Majin Buu, uh, Saga versus God Key, which banner would you guys summon on? Personally for me, like I said, I would, I, I mean, we would have to wait to see like the kits and the details of the banners. That's, that's given. But just a pre, just like pre-analyzing everything, I just like God Key better. I, I think it's more hype, right? Um, especially if it's a God Goku because he's been extremely ne neglected. We've gotten many Vegitos before, even though Vegito is a hype character. Now, it's not necessarily Vegito. We could get another character, um, a multi-transformation Goku to Super Saiyan 3 Goku is being tossed up. Ultimate Gohan is being tossed up. But once again... You know, those are my best case and worst case scenarios. So, yeah, guys, comment down below. What is your best case scenario? I mean, are you guys on the same boat as me? Would you guys be disappointed with a single banner? I personally would. Like, um, I can envision myself watching the reviews and stuff. And I would be hyped for that character reveal. I really would. But then I would be waiting to see if we would get a fake out, right? Uh, for like, Toshi's like, wait, there's more. Or like, or like bye. He, they would wave by and then the screen would turn black. And then, of course, you know, it would cut to a God Goku or whatever the case may be. That would be really cool. Um, with that being said, guys, I do have a live scheduled up. Go check it out. It's my live tab. Just hit uh, this notify me button right here. And you guys will know when I'm going to go live uh, for the character reveal, summons, all that stuff. I'll have full coverage here on my channel. And if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.